Google Analytics is one of the most powerful tools for advertisers to use outside of the channels themselves. It allows us to see how people are behaving and engaging on our websites, whether they come from our PPC campaigns or from some other source. One of the only downfalls of GA is that sometimes there's actually too much data and it's a little bit difficult to start to see exactly what we want to in a really quick manner. That's where segments come in. So today I'm going to talk about what segments are, how you set them up, and hopefully give you some ideas so you can start to segment your data in the interface and get to the information that you need a little bit quicker. Let's hop in. Okay, so we're in the Google Analytics interface and I'm just in the source medium report, very common report, so hopefully you've seen it before. And what we're gonna talk about is this section of the screen here. This is where all the segments will be applied. As you can see, this has the add segment button on it and every time I hover over it, it turns dark gray. So everything in a square here is going to be considered a segment. Google Analytics defaults to have the all users segment in here, but if we wanna start adding a different segment, we can start to create different views of how users on our site are engaging. To get started, before we get into all the nitty gritty, all that kind of stuff, I want to just show you what it looks like when there's another segment added to a report. So let's go ahead and hop in here. I'm going to pick one really quick that I know is going to show us some good information. And then once that populates, you can see what it will start to look like when we have a segment. I just chose ages 18 to 34. This creates a second box here. And when you hover over it, it will show you the number of users that are in the group. And it says 3.4% of users are ages 18 to 34. We still have the all users piece here. You can see that the circle is blue and this one is, uh, although it's mostly light orange, it is orange. And there's a slightly darker part up here where the top arrow is pointing to show that that represents the 3.44. If there were 50%, half of this circle would be dark orange. But what this does is it adds new lines into the table here. So we can still see users and that one's blue. So it's all users. And then users who are ages 18 to 34. And that one has an orange icon next to it. So each time we hover over one of these dates, you can see that there is a number for all users and one that is segmented by users who are 18 to 34. So if we get down here closer to more recent data, we had about 8,100 users for the entire site and 764 of them were ages 18 to 34. So that allows us just to see on this chart, the difference in the data between the two segments. But the table down below also updates for the different segments that we have chosen. So there are two total rows, again, all users and ages 18 to 34. And then each of the different metrics is broken out by the two segments. So all of the data here is only for people who fall in this 18 to 34 range. And this data on this row is all people who are in the all users category. Same thing for each of the different line items. So Google organic is broken up, CPC, direct, any of the different pieces down here are going to have a new line item for each segment. So hopefully this lets you kind of see how how powerful segments can be to help you get a lot of information quickly and not have to build lots of custom reports and do lots of filters. You can just choose one and add it and see the data that you wanna see pretty quickly in almost any of the reports within Google Analytics. So pretty quickly earlier, I went into the builder and that's where we're gonna spend the rest of our time on this video. So I'm going to remove this segment real quick just to get us back to square one. And now we're gonna go into the builder itself. Whenever I clicked on that, it opened up this huge builder as we saw earlier. The first thing to know is there are basically three ways that you can get segments. You can either create your own, which we'll do here in a second. You can import from a gallery of public segments that are available. So if we click on this, it opens up this gallery view and you can see things by Avinash, by Google Analytics team, all sorts of different segments in here that you can use in your accounts without really needing to do much work. You just click import and you're off to the races. There's also some navigation over here. Uh, you can filter for whichever ones you want for whatever the needs are, but I'm not gonna do any of that. So check that out in your own time, but pretty cool resource if you don't really know what you wanna get started with. The next way is to share segments. So let's say I build a segment and I wanna share it with another user on Google Analytics to view the data. You can do that in a pretty quick process. We'll do that at the end, but that's another way that you can get segments. If you know one that somebody already has that you want to leverage, they already have it built, you don't necessarily need to get the settings from them. You can just have them share it with you and then you can leverage it in your own accounts. Next thing I want to look at are these different views over here. As you can see, there are quite a lot of different custom segments that are filtered for already in this account. Without being able to scroll quite heavily throughout these to find what's there, you can use this navigation here on the left to find specific ones. So the first 
first is just all, that's what it's gonna default to. The second is system, and that's just gonna show you ones that the system creates for you. You can then choose custom. Those are all the ones that you have created that are custom for you. You can click in shared, and these are gonna be all the ones that have been shared with you. You can click starred, and it'll show you all the ones that have the star chosen next to it. So if you want to save one of these as a favorite, let's just go back to all. If I wanted to, let's say, save this ages 18 to 34 as a favorite, you can click this star, and then it'll turn yellow, and that way you can see it a lot easier when you're scrolling, or you can find it in the starred section so you don't have to go nearly as far for it. And the last is selected, and that'll just show you, again, the different segments that you have chosen for the view that you're currently looking at. Right now we only have all users because I don't have any other segments, but this is another place you can see what segments you have chosen on top of the boxes that are up here. So let's go through and create our own segment, because this is probably the most powerful portion of this entire tool. If you've ever created any sort of audience in Google Analytics, this builder is going to look very familiar to you. Um, I'm not going to go through it too heavily in depth. I encourage you to explore the different options that are in here, but you can start to create different segments by the demographic information somebody has. So we already showed one that was around ages. So you can choose different age brackets that people are in. So this would be effectively the duplicate of the age bracket that we saw earlier, the age segment. And every time you change some of the settings out here, this will will automatically update to show you what the audience size is, what the segment size is for the parameters that you've set. And it'll also retain the parameters that you have here. And if you wanna get rid of them, just click the X and they'll go away. And you can see that they've unchecked the boxes and this has gone back to 100%. So you can do the same thing with gender, language, the in-market audiences, which tie directly back to the in-market audiences from Google Ads platform. Um, whether they're in a different location, you can leverage the different technology, whether it's an operating system, browser, the device group that they're using, if you wanna know if they're on mobile or tablet, or maybe if they're Android or iPhone users, something like that. You can look at the behavior that they're taking, the number of sessions that they've had on the site, the different transactions, how long they've been on the site for session duration. You can choose the date of their first session. Maybe there's a sale that you had going on and you wanna know if somebody came to the site the first time during a sale or if it was another time of year. That could be interesting to see. Traffic sources, this ties back really closely to the UTM parameters that we use. So whether it's campaign, medium, source, keyword, you could use this to create custom segments for people who came from Facebook versus LinkedIn and check and see how they engage with the site, what's different from Facebook users to LinkedIn users. And then if you're running e-commerce and you have enhanced e-commerce, there's lots of different filters you can set up on here to decide which different group people are in. So if they've spent a certain amount of money, you've generated a certain amount of revenue. If they've looked at certain product brands or product variants, all that stuff you can create different rules on. If you want to get a bit more advanced, you can also set up different conditions for if somebody has engaged with a number of different pieces. This goes quite beyond what we're trying to target today, but there's a lot of stuff based on pretty much any of the dimensions that are on the site, based on their behaviors, based on any of the technology, demographics, all that kind of stuff you can filter for in here. And then the same thing goes with sequences. If people have taken certain steps in a certain order, you can create that group of people. So there's a lot of really interesting ways you can leverage all this data to create custom segments. I encourage you to think about the different ways that you can do that for your company and leverage these different pieces. For now, I'm going to create one of my own custom variables. I just want to know anybody who's converted on my site. I'm going to come in here. Conversions in Google Analytics are called goals. So I'm just going to type in goal. There's a lot of different goals, different numbers, but I know if I type in just completions afterward, there's a specific segment that is just goal completions. So if I choose that, I can say that goal completions are greater than zero. And now my audience is going to update over here. My segment's going to update. It's going to tell me that about 5,300 people have completed a any of the goals in this Google Analytics profile. That seems pretty right to me. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to name this all converters and hit save. Now that I've hit save, you can see here this orange uh, circle has a little bit more orange up here, a little bit more than the 3.4%. Um, the all converter segment is obviously chosen. There's the new line item there in the chart. And then the table also has line items for all users versus all converters and kind of starts to show the difference between how they engage with the site, what the bounce rate is, all that good stuff. 
like I said earlier, we can do a number of different segments at a time. So let's go ahead and add two more in here. I'm gonna add back in the ages 18 to 34, and then we're gonna use single session users. Hit apply. And now you can see up here that we have four different boxes chosen. There's no longer a plus here. So four is the largest number of segments that you can have chosen at a single time. But like this one is orange, each of these has a different color. So now this one is green and this one is purple. And that's pretty easy to tell the difference between those once we get to the chart. Same thing, as soon as you hover over one, each of them will show you the stat for that single day on a different line item and their corresponding colors. And the table will then also have the data in the total row as well as each of the following rows for each of the different segments that you wanna see. So pretty powerful. These are all going to be in the order that you checked them. So I already had all converters and then I selected ages and then I selected single session users but if for some reason you want to reorder these you can easily just hover over and it brings the four arrows back up you can then drag that to make the single session users the highest in the list and then everything will reorder once the page loads and the single session users will show up first and now you can see they've even reset the colors so the first one is again blue followed by orange then green then purple so it'll always be in that order based on the segments that you've chosen okay now the last thing I said I was going to do is share one of the different segments that we had. So let's go in here. I'm going to click remove and that brings back the option to add another one, which then will bring me back into the builder that I want to be in. So it is a little bit irritating that you can't really get there without removing one, but that's the way it is. So the last thing I want to do is let's say I want to share segments. It doesn't actually matter what I have checked here. Once you click on the share segments button, it's going to take you into the admin portion of Google Analytics. As you can see, we're now in the admin section by the fact that this is very admin report looking, if you will. So over here, it's already populated the segments that we have available in the account. So let's just say I wanna choose my all converters segment that I created. Once I check the box next to it, it'll make the share button light up so you can actually do something with it. And now it'll give you two options. You can either share a template link or you can share in the solutions gallery. So remember earlier we talked about the gallery and getting things from Avinash or the Google Analytics team. That's what this is. And that's not exactly what I wanna do, though you can do that by clicking this little dial and hitting share. This will be findable by the public if somebody wants to find it. But let's just say you wanna share something with another user on your team, or somebody like that. Just make sure you've got this first one chosen here and click share then almost like a google doc it will bring up this link that you can then copy send to the teammate the client anybody else that you want to have use this either over email or im or whatever all they have to do is click on the link it'll take them into google analytics and they accept the link and they'll be able to find it in the shared portion of the editor that we showed earlier. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you want to get notified of when a new one comes out, be sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel.